Hi everyone, it's Mrs. H. Today we're going to be making our color guard tassels. You will need a skein of navy blue yarn. You will need a skein of white yarn. You will need some shoelaces. You're going to need some really good scissors. And you're going to need a little golden book or some sort of book that is about eight inches tall. That's about the size that we're going for. Um, so we're going to start off by taking your blue and your white yarn together. Make sure you have both of them together. Watch out for knots. Make sure you're not getting any of your yarn tangled as you're doing this. You're going to put your yarn around your book. And we're just going to wrap this around 175 times. It doesn't have to be exactly if it's about 175. That's just about the amount that we're going for. Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, one seventy-five. 73, 74, 175. So we're all wrapped up onto the book. I'm just going to uh, cut these ends here. Go ahead. Okay, get that out of the way. Now, as you are wrapping your yarn around, you want to make sure that you're not going too tight because you want to be able to uh, get the, uh, the yarn away from the edge of the book because we're going to need to take our shoelace and we're going to have to slide this through here. And basically what we're doing is getting all of the yarn all together so it doesn't all come apart, so it all stays together. Right now we're just going to tie this in a bow, but later we're going to come back and tie it in a really, really tight knot. Right now we just want to do a bow to keep all of our yarns together. So once all of my yarn is together, now on the opposite end of where I tied my bow, over here, I'm going to cut all of these strings along here. That way we have individual strings in our pom-pom tassels. This part gets tricky. Just try to cut a couple strings at a time. So once everything is cut, then you can remove your book and take the book away. And now we are left with a kind of pom-pom. Um, you're going to want to comb it out here. It's okay if it's not totally even right now, but this is where you want to Comb it out, smooth it out, even it up. And then you can either cut a new section of yarn, or if you see any really long ones sticking out, you can just pull uh, one or two strings out of here. I like to take two strings because that makes it a little bit stronger. And this is where we're going to uh, tie the ball to make our tassel. So I'm just going to lay my strings across here. I'm going to lay my tassel out like this. I'm going to tie super, super tight in a knot, as tight as you can go. If this is too loose, your tassel will fall apart. You will lose yarn as you're marching down the street in a parade. You don't want to do that, so tie as tight as you can. You can have someone help you out with this. Um, I like to tie it once, and then I like to go back around again and tie it a second time on the other side, just to make sure it's as tight as it can possibly go. Get a really good tight knot there. And now that I've got my ball on my tassel, now I can go back to my shoelaces and now I can super tighten this up. Super tight knot instead of a bow. And again, the tighter you go, the better your tassel will stay together. If it's too loose, your tassel's gonna fall apart in the middle of the parade and you don't want that. Okay. So there we go, there's my tassel. It is a little bit uneven on the bottom and that's okay. So when I get my boots, when I put my tassel on my boots, I'm going to um, make sure that I cut straight across. I'm just gonna give my tassel a little haircut and that way I know that my tassel is nice and straight across on the bottom. And that way I know what size they need to be, how tall they need to be because of my boots. Again, once they're on your boots, you don't want them too long or else you're going to trip on them in the parade. You're gonna step on them and your tassels are gonna fall apart. Now this is one tassel, now I need to make a second one for my other foot.
five. So again, I'm going to cut the ends here. I'm going to take my second shoelace because I should have two shoelaces. I'm going to, again, move the yarn away from the book so I can slide my shoelace through, pull up to one end, tying in a bow this time just to keep everything together. Again, we'll go back later, we'll knot it, we'll tighten it up. Tying in a bow, opposite end of where I tied it in a bow, gonna cut across here. There we go, removing my book, combing out. Checking to make sure that everything is smooth. And just grabbing some yarn from my tassel so that I can tie the ball around. And go about, about there with it. Again, tying super, super tight in a knot, as tight as I can possibly go, so that it doesn't come undone when I am marching down the street. As you can always tell when we've been mar marching down the street, there are little bits of blue and white yarn everywhere. It's not good for the environment. We don't want to do that. Here we go, as tight as I can go. Straightening out, combing out. And then again, going back up to my shoelace at the top, undoing the bow, and then tightening up into a knot. There is my second one. And whenever I'm ready, just gonna give it a little haircut. You're going to want to uh, have a trash can handy because you will get little bits of yarn all over the place. Make sure you have a trash can. Make sure you clean up after yourself. But you can just give yourself a haircut, even them out across the bottom. And again, once it's on my boot, I can check the size and exact length that it needs to be. Okay. But right now, there's my second tassel. There are both of them. And now as soon as I get my boots, I'm ready to put them on my boots. Good luck, everybody. Have fun.